Hey, good evening. Um, today is Thursday. I think it's. I'm feeling that today is last Thursday of October. I'm not sure. Uh, I think this weekend may be Halloween weekend. Um, in 2018. Um, <clears throat> typically, what I do during the Halloween is, I mean, Halloween weekend, weekend before Halloween is, uh, I go to local club and. Uh, you know, to see other people's costumes and it's great fun time. And uh, but I don't, <coughs> I don't dress up the Halloween costumes. I'm just too lazy for that. I used to when I was ten years younger, in my thirties, in my twenties, and uh, but I'm just <sighs> too lazy for that. I wouldn't say I'm too old for that because it has nothing to do with age. It's just how much motivated you are, I guess. And uh, yeah, so I, I I just go there and watch other people's costumes. And um, hmm, yeah, oh, this guy is good. Yeah, so oh my goodness, I had such a long day today. I mean, it's not late. It's, right now, it's like what, maybe six thirty. It wasn't time-wise. It wasn't very long day, but in terms of workload at work, yeah, it was a lot. Oh. At one time today earlier, uh, I my I felt my brain was like fried. I couldn't like think anymore, so I had to stop and. <coughs> take a break and came back to and felt better so I worked some more and guess what 30 minutes later I, my brain got fr refried and uh, I killed one fruit fly and going for another one Not sure if I killed it. I think I did. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, this fruit fly must be like spawning in my house somewhere. I don't know how they spawn. Uh. This uh. bad fruit flies, man. Whew. Yeah. Anyway, <coughs> uh, sorry. So I guess we talked enough about neural network, but I don't know why, but I just want to talk about it more and more because it's just so, so fun. I like talking about it. So do you mind if I keep talking about it like forever? Like 10 years from now, we are still talking about Neural network like every day. I don't know. <laughs> it's just so fun. And um. But uh, yeah, we'll talk about briefly about support vector machine, which is a mo more uh, modern approach to in um, machine learning <coughs> world, industry, um, academia. So uh. So neural network is like this, okay? It's like uh, neural network is like learning algorithm. You have uh, equation of uh, linear equation of uh, n-dimensional straight line or plane, okay? It's like w vector weight set dot product to x, which is a x vector, you know, the variable vector is equal to zero, right? Common example, ax plus by plus c times one is equal to zero. This is x, x1, x2, y is x2, and one is x zero, okay? <coughs> 
So that's that. Uh, and um, learning algorithm, okay, it's like this. W prime, which is a brand new weight vector, is equal to W, the original, the previous weight vector, minus we bifurcate, okay, plus or minus eta times, which is a learning rate. Uh, if it's a good set, good, uh, so, when, so you have this, yeah, because neural network, there are so many things, okay, that's why we have to do it again and again, it's still fun, because we are still learning something new here, okay. Soccer is good, X is bad, okay. <coughs> if it, if this example, this data, is classified correctly, <laughs> Then, uh, then uh, we don't change this weight vector. Okay, we will change only when there's a misclassification. Okay, let's say if there is this good guy misclassified like here, then we need to reduce x, right? We're getting close to like x x equal to zero, which is y axis. Okay. Uh, good guy. We want to reduce x. That means um, we need to We want to reduce x. That means we need to increase the a coefficient. Okay, but not too much. Just a little bit. Okay. <coughs> That's so. Eta learning rate is like zero point one, zero point two, something less than one and more than zero. I think. Okay. Okay. So, uh, good guy that has been misclassified <laughs> but so that's that but if we <clears throat> misclassify a bad guy as a good guy then we need to uh, what increase x meaning we need to decrease the coefficient of the weight coefficient of uh, x a so a, a must go down that's why we're subtracting it okay at uh, times uh, it has this number like 0 0.1 okay bad guy <laughs> okay and we previously uh, we found that um, but if this kind of misclassification happens in right in the middle there are two ways <coughs> We want to decrease x and y at the same time. <laughs> Meaning, so x and y they go down. It means c must go up. So we increase c. We can, it's okay that we only incre increase only c. All right. So. So x and y go down. Meaning, <coughs> we increase c. Okay, because this becomes you know y is equal to minus a over bx minus c over a right no 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 c over b okay we are assuming abc that will be positive okay because if they're negative uh, it's mirror image so don't worry about it. it the equation still holds true algorithm still is correct okay so yeah <coughs> we are increasing c meaning minus c over b it will decrease okay so this line is going down you know <coughs> and also it has same effect as because this is equivalent to uh a over c x can you see all this i'm sorry i'm writing so small maybe you cannot see this but whatever i'm sorry it's easy so if i'm sure you can see this kinda right but it's something very easy just basic algebra i'm just dividing by c okay so 
we said we are increasing c because x and y are going at going down at the same time like like this y go down then x go down okay x and y are both going down so you have x axis and y axis right so x and y are going down at the same time meaning which is equivalent to we're just modifying c we are not messing with a and b this time okay just uh increase c okay that means a over c as a whole this coefficient will go down as c goes up okay because c is in the denominator part of this fraction okay so <clears throat> x and y again x and y are going down at the same time and we are not changing a and a or b we are changing only c how do we achieve that x and y going down so in order to preserve the equality c must go up so something goes down something goes up they cancel each other out so that's how we preserve the equality here okay so c must go up and this equation is uh, equivalent to uh, if you divide by c these two coefficients of x and y as c goes up coefficients are going down so it has same effect as de decreasing a and b at the same time okay roughly roughly okay i'm just giving you some intuitive way to understand all this okay <clears throat> because it's really really helpful if you want to be good at mathematics and it helps a lot I mean it makes you smarter okay in general okay okay so I guess this well we can give some more application of human knowledgeable application of this neural network okay so I, I'm very, I'm very bipartisan. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm registered Republican, but uh, I do believe with Democrats, Democratic Party, uh, and liberalism. It ha they have many goods in there. Okay, uh, of course, Democrats are they're, they're great people. Of course. Okay, there are a lot of goods in there. All right, so. So when I give you example of this right versus left, I it doesn't mean anything. I'm not saying conservatives are all conservatives are good and all liberals are bad. No, never. I would never say such a thing. Okay, because I have seen so many bad conservatives and so many good liberals. Okay, so it, we are the same. Okay. <coughs> We all make mistakes. That's why we have to learn from each other, help each help each other out by you know constructive criticism. All right. Uh, <clears throat> it's funny because um, you know I have many friends, right? And then uh, yeah, many friends, and then. But many of my friends are very smart, and you know, they many many of them are kind of like me. They say things that I would not like, regardless. I say things to my friends that I know for sure that they are not gonna like. Half of my friends are obese because I live in America. Okay, half of my American friends are obese. <clears throat> but yeah, I bring up those issues. Hey, I think you should. Uh, do more exercise and more healthy diet on their sake I say that on their for their own sake okay or tattoos piercing yeah I say I uh, you know I, I don't think you should get any more tattoos or piercings because it doesn't look good on you okay sometimes I say those things okay and um, and in return my friends also say things that I, they know for sure I don't like I would not like I appreciate that okay I, I do because criticism is good and uh, nobody should be afraid of you know expressing their mind because we are living in the country of freedom you know the first amendment right 
and um, you should exercise the constitution right like that, okay? Freedom of speech. Otherwise, the constitution dies, okay? If you want to preserve and protect the freedom of speech, then you should not be afraid of speaking your, your mind freely, okay? That's what America is supposed to be about, and that's how it was in the past. Nowadays, it's changing for the worse. There's no more freedom of speech because people are living in fear nowadays. Oh, if I say this, oh, if I say I oppose gay marriage, probably I will get fired. I will probably lose my job or lose my clients. Whatever, right? So, yeah, it's not just liberalism, okay? Same, the same holds for the uh, conservatism as well. You don't think there is suppression of freedom of speech in co in the Republican Party? There is, okay? I'm running for president against President Trump. Do you know what they did? Not all of them, some of them. You know, it's not just Republicans, it's Democrats too. Yeah, they are mean people in, on either side of the aisle. So, one day I went to more liberal social gathering. The other day, I went to more conservative social gathering, okay? And I hand them out my, uh, the, you know, campaign cards. The, the one I made, I showed you uh, the other day, partially. In either, two different social gatherings, okay? One social gathering, um, predominantly like conservative people and the other social gathering con uh, predominantly liberal people okay and in either event I uh, handed out my campaign card and I freely expressed my uh, political view I'm running against Donald J. Trump but you know I'm half of me about 49% of me is very liberal blah 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 so I'm kind of bipartisan you know and I oppose gay marriage and all that stuff. In both parties, people behind my back threw away the campaign card, my kind of like business card, but it's political campaign card, like in the size of business card. I handmade and hand cut with my printer, color printer, on a, a glossy photo paper. I think I showed you, I, I did show you partially, right? Because I don't want to reveal my name, okay? So, yeah, I gave them my business card, hey, this is me, I'm running for president, blah, blah, blah. Behind my back, they threw away my campaign cards, business cards, on the floor of bars. Because those two events, they both happened in a bar, okay? Different, two different bars. They threw away uh, on the floor of the bar so that people can step on it, trample upon it, on my name. Okay, that's how these people are, both conservatives and liberals. Okay, so I was shocked at first. How dare you? How can you do that? I mean, they did it behind my back. I never saw them throwing away. I didn't see them doing it. But, like a few minutes later, after they did that, yeah, I looked around and behold, my campaign cars are on the floor of bars. These two bar different bars. And they knew that I would see it. Actually, they wanted me to see it, that they threw away my campaign cars on the floor so that people can step on it. It happened like several months ago in America okay so yeah you're right Americans can be extremely mean and evil can you believe this can you imagine people throwing so you give people your business card and they throw away on the floor so that people can step on it when you are still there I mean I, I was still there and they knew it Probably they wanted me to see my name being stepped on. You know, but I'm a pacifist. Do not ever assassinate anybody. Do not ever commit violence, okay? 
you want to commit violence, law martial arts, and do it in a legal manner. On a punching bag or tree or on, on the air or in the air, punch or kick in the air, that's what I do. Okay, don't ever hurt people physically. I mean, yeah, disciplining kids, yeah, yeah, spanking, you know, that's fine. So pe young kids, yeah, they, they need to behave. So spanking, I, I'm okay with that, okay? But uh, as an adult, you, you should never commit violence against another adult. Or, you know, abuse kids. Just no violence, okay? Punishment on children, you know, spanking, yeah, that's fine, okay? Violence, murder, crime, no, no, absolutely not. Okay, you should never co commit any crimes for your own sake. But it's gonna ruin your life if you commit assassination, which is basically a murder of some famous people. Never do that, never, ever. No matter how hate you, how much hatred you have against somebody. I don't hate nobody. I don't hate President Trump. Okay? I don't. I learned many things from him. I'm running against him because I believe I can do like 10 trillion times better than he can. Okay? That's the only reason. I don't hate him. He tries to kick me out of this country. Yes, we let him. I'll just leave. I'm not gonna sue him, I'm not gonna try to assassinate him, no, 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 you should never even think about those things, okay, so no violence, okay, so, yeah, people threw, uh, threw away my uh, business card, campaign card, handmade, do you know how much time it takes, I designed it all by myself, I designed it and I Print it out, and it's, it's not cheap. It's a uh, color printer. These color color inks, they are not cheap at all. Okay, so they're expensive. It took a lot of time, a lot of efforts, and it's all handmade, homemade. I gave my handmade campaign card, business card, okay, political business card, and they threw away in a bar on the floor so that people can step on it, and wh while I'm still there. It's like, I'm like, wow, how evil can a human being be? How can, how low can people be? How evil people can possibly be? It's like, uh, they're like embodiment of Satan or devil or whatever. How, how dare they, can they do that? Yeah, it, it's just hurt feelings, but conceptually, it's heinous. It happened both in the liberal social gathering and Republican social gathering. So I, I figure that Republican people, you know, Republican conservative people, they didn't like the fact that I'm running against President Trump. Okay, so to them, Tr President Trump is their god. So they say, oh, we are Christians. No, no, no. You are Trumpians. You are not Christians. Okay, you are Trump. You worship Trump, idol. Okay, you're, you're committing the uh, sin of idolatry by worshipping, blindly worshipping President Trump. Because I am smarter than he is. You should be electing me instead of campaigning for Trump. Okay, but you just assume that smart, uh, Trump is better than me just because he's what? Famous and rich and powerful. So, in humanology, Worshipping God, meaning you, you uh, serve truth, justice. Okay? So God, we, the word concept God in Bible, in humanology, we interpret it as sometimes as people. You're serving God, you serve people. <clears throat> okay? So if you really serve God, you're serving people. And to best serve the people, you have to elect me as the, as uh, America's president because I can make it all happen. I can make it all happen. I can save the world, save America. I can save everyone on earth, okay? Not just America. Because I'll be working with you, okay? Common average Americans. 
you won't be about stupid elite elites okay i have many elitist friends okay some of them are nice but it has to be it, okay representative government my humanologist position interpretation of that term is this representative government should represent the best interest of the people not the best not the most desire of the people okay it's about best interest of people if you, if you have a child the child best interest and child most desire they are not always the same or the child have this huge desire of getting eating candies every day but that's bad for the child so you say oh no 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 don't eat candies don't eat this soda pop or okay because it's bad for you that's how a leader should be just like a caring parent who knows better and i do know better than every single one of you okay I, I regarding um in terms of what is wrong and what is right okay i'm not saying i'm a better person than you are you probably have some of you have more muscle than i do and some of you can sing better dance better and uh don't have any bold spot here and some of you may be just more handsome than i am and maybe more educated in mathematics physics philosophy history yeah you have a lot to teach me of course foreign languages but in terms of morality i i am the number one guy not just today in the world no throughout the entire human history okay that's why i i god is using me to found this humanology okay because i'm maybe with the exception of jesus maybe because he, he isn't exactly a human being he's son of god but as a son of man son son of just or son or daughter of any people yeah in terms of morality to know what is right and what is wrong i am the number one guy okay there is nobody else throughout the not in the past not in the future not in the present i am your guy okay there is no one else okay so except jesus all right but well he's son of god so okay so yeah all these psychologists or pastors or professors or like politicians judges justices pope bishop or priests or all these religious leaders no i know better i know more about what is right and what is wrong okay so what is wrong and what is right tattoos piercings they are wrong marijuana wrong transgender gay marriage all this lgbt they are 100 percent wrong feminism yeah part of it's good part of it's bad okay Democratic Party, liberalism, part of it's good, part of it's bad. Republican Party, like the conservatism, part of it's good, part of it's bad. This pro-life, pro-choice, yeah, half and half, right? They both have good arguments, okay, so. But tattoos, pier yeah, piercing one here, one here for women, yeah, it, it's good, it's traditional. But all the other piercings, 100% evil 100% ugly 100% bad it's for, yeah it is tradition in, in some parts of africa i don't care it's wrong and it's bad okay tattoos yeah it, it came from yeah this pacific islands you know some parts of pacific islands you know mi micronesia or some polynesia or something Yeah, you know, it's been hundreds of years or thousands of years i don't care it's wrong 100% tattoo is a bad period Marijuana, yeah, medical marijuana, yeah, fine. Recreational marijuana, no, no. You, you see, because back in the Old Testament days, they used to, uh, there was this uh, Gentile, hi hidden custom of burning their children to foreign God, sacrificing young kids to foreign God, okay? So 
Gentiles, yeah, foreigners, okay? So Israel's God took a notice of that. So, and because some Israelites were imitating that. That's what's happening in America right now. They are feeding young children with marijuana cookies, marijuana pizzas. They're feeding marijuana to young children. Okay, so yeah, you, you, you are sacrificing your young children to the God of marijuanaism. Not only that, now you, you are tra transforming young kids, your own children, to be a transgender with hormone therapy and whatnot. Okay, so yeah, it's happening all over again. It's been that way since the very beginning. Sacrifice of young children to the devil. Satan. Okay, you you are uh, so so young children. Yeah, they are starting to tattoo and pierce young kids. Okay, I I predicted this. I told my friends about this. You know, sooner or later, people will start to tattoo and pierce their own young children. They are doing it now. Okay, I predicted this and I told my friends. And when I told my friends, they would not believe it. Okay, they. But it is happening. Okay, it's so predictable. Because it's something evil, right? If you don't stop it, it spread like wildfire. Because to destroy something, to kill somebody, is so easy. But to heal somebody, to cure somebody of some disease, very hard. It takes a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of people. When I broke my clavicle from this bicycle accident, it took a fraction of a second. For me to break this clavicle. To heal it, it took doctors, nurses, insurance money, and several months of pain and suffering on my part. Okay, it took a lot to heal, to put these bone pieces together. There's this proof of life. Oh well. It will come again, I tell it. Okay, so, uh, Yeah, well, let's take a break, okay? Because I'm getting drunk and my, now my brain is back to normal. It's clear now that I'm drunk. Does it make sense? Because before this, I was, oh, my brain was clouded with all this work, labor I had to do earlier today. But now it's getting cleared up. So it's like catharsis. You talk it out, right? Just good, and you, you are also replacing all this junk of from your work, the stress. You're replacing it somebody you with some new thoughts, like neural network or politics, religion. My job has nothing to do with any of those things. Okay, so clearing my mind with brand new thoughts, like fresh air replacing dirty air, kind of thing. Okay, so let's take a break. Okay. Whew. Thank you for being there for me, although you're not there yet.
Okay, one uh, therapeutical tips from humanologists is if you have some bad memory, the best way to replace the bad memory is to, I mean, to get rid of those bad memories is to replace it with new memories, new bad memories. <laughs> so when I was uh, back in the days, when I was having some bad time with horrendous neighbors, I would just go to a bar. When I go to a bar, there are people that I really don't like to see. So they replace the whole the old bad memories with new bad memories. Okay, so because if you have bad memories for a while, it starts to rot, stink, it gets worse. You need to replace out with a brand new, fresh bad memories. Okay, or it could be good, good bad, and new good memories, whatever. Just have to be new. Yeah, so yeah, go out there and meet some people, okay? So don't get into any trouble though. Uh, I don't want you to get into any troubles, okay? So, so what were we talking about? Well, it doesn't matter. Let's forget about all this. Let's talk briefly about support vector machine because when I was in undergrad, me and two of my colleagues as a three group project, so we had we took this artificial intelligence class. We are all like computer science majors, undergrad, right? And there were some graduate students in that class too. So there were a mix of graduate students and senior class, and computer science majors on the, as undergrad. We all mixed and yeah, we formed this two people or three people group and we talk, we had this group research project, each group, okay? So I think it was student body in the artificial intelligence class of about 20 people. So yeah, there were like several groups, about seven groups or each, eight groups. And uh, each of us was assigned a, we just, some topic, more or less advanced topic in artificial intelligence, we research, learn and present, write some review article about it. Okay, so, and our group, my group, we decide to compare neural network and support vector machine. Okay. What are strengths, weakness? Okay, so that was like, uh, man, 15 years ago when I was in undergrad in the Midwest, American Midwest. And three of us, we are all Asians. Okay, so uh, I think one was from Thailand, the other one was from China, I think. Um, so yeah, we, we researched support vector machine and neural network, not like too deep, but more than surface level, okay? Because we, we are computer science majors, so we understand mathematics, okay? So it wasn't too hard, okay? But yeah, it took some time. So I, I vaguely remembered what support vector machine neural network was, and I had to review a little bit in my break time, and. Um, leisure time so yeah software vector machine kind of like came back to me and uh basically it's like this software vector machine uh was developed at later after the neural network you know perceptron you know neural network and software vector machine uh you know the limit of neural network is that the two sets have to be linearly separable like there is this x or X or it's like this. X or is like it's a binary operator for uh, in logic, Boolean logic. It's like it goes like this: one X or zero is equal to I think it's one. Okay, so and one X or and one is equal to zero, something like that, exclusive or, okay? Meaning, if they are different, x and y, x, x or y is equal to one if, if x is not the same as y, and zero if 
x is equal to y. Something like that's how I remember. Okay, so uh, it's called exclusive war, all right? Because in traditional war, the logical oper logical operation, one war one is one, and zero war zero is one. If the same is always one, okay? Because one uh, symbolizes true, zero symbolizes false, okay? So X or is kind of like a, it's not exact opposite, okay? Because the opposite of or would be something like NAND, I think. Okay, so you have logic table, right? Can you read all this? Is it too light? How about I switch it to red? You have AND gate and OR gate in electronics, right? The uh, logic operation boolean logic one means true or on in a machine you know, switch zero means off or false in logic in electronics is on or off okay so yeah this logic is very fascinating um, mathematical logic fascinating fascinating formal logic very fascinating boolean logic very fascinating because it has application in philosophy and also in uh, electronics and also artificial intelligence okay so logic is very cool stuff okay it started in philosophy and then it moved to propagate it to mathematics and now look at look at how it's doing it's, it's in computer science and even electronics okay so or gate is zero one zero one zero one zero 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 one or zero one zero one 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 or one one okay something like that and then x or zero one it is a two dimensional table okay. Zero zero, they're the same. So zero one that different. So it's one. Zero one different is one. One one is zero. Okay. So they're not quite exact opposite. Okay. So now, what is the opposite of or then? It should be one zero, zero zero, zero one, uh, zero one. I think this is called NAND gate, like, well, maybe NOR gate, NOR gate, like opposite of OR, okay, uh, NAND gate I think is opposite of AND, let's just for the completeness, what is AND, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 0 and 0, 1 and 0, one okay. NAND gate I think is just opposite of this, like one 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 zero. Okay, so yeah, I, I think that's how it goes. Okay, and um, so x x or looks like this. So the distribution that it looks like uh, all the good guys here. You have x axis, y axis. All the bad, uh, good guys are also here, and bad guys are here, bad guys are here. It kind of re resembles this uh, XOR distribution. So that's how we call this in the, this uh, artificial intelligence community, like X, XOR distribution, okay? They are not linearly separable, of course, because you cannot find a single line that you need two lines to separate these four classes. Good guys here, good guys here, and bad guys here, bad guys here. Okay, you cannot have one line that can separate this neatly. Okay, so that's the uh, limitation of uh, neural network. But neural network is still a very, very powerful algorithm. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't solve every single problem, but it solves many problems.
So it's a still useful algorithm. So that's why this guy, MIT professor Marvin Minsky, was wrong. I mean, his argument it was correct, but in terms of his uh, appreciation or lack of appreciation of, uh, appreciation of neural network, yeah, that's where he erred. Okay, an algorithm doesn't have to be perfect. If it can solve many problems, it's a good algorithm. It doesn't have to be solve every single problem in the world. There is no such algorithm. There is no such single algorithm that can solve every single problem in the world. Okay. If it can solve many problems, then it's good enough. Okay. So Marvin Minsky said, "Oh, a neural network is useless because it cannot solve this problem." Bullshit. Okay. So yeah, there is a story that uh, oh, this uh, Frank Rosenblatt who invented this uh, perceptron neural network. Yeah, he got so depressed after that and um, you know he was Cornell University professor and then he got criticized by this Marvin Minsky and then he got depressed and so he committed suicide that's one f theory of his death some people say he died in a boat accident nobody knows okay no one knows but they are just some speculations okay So, yeah, but support vector machine, there's linear support vector machine and non-linear support vector machine. So support vector machine can solve this. Okay, from what I remember, by now it's kind of super superficial memory. I'm just scratching on the surface. But back 15 years ago, yeah, I used to know more, like mathematically and all that. There's this transformation function, okay, that uh, kind of translates maps into a different space is into a different coordinate system or whatever okay so into something like some transformation function okay and uh, and into a brand new space i think they call it feature space or something like that okay so so that you move this over with some function and then in this brand new space all these bad guys are now grouped together like this. All the good guys are now transferred to th like this. But it's different coordinate system, different space, okay? So that's one thing. It's called something like kernel uh, trick or something like that, okay? I used to know more. I mean, not everything about support vector machine, but I used to know, used to know more. Okay, fifteen years ago, but now I forgot. Okay, um, but by all means, yeah, yeah, it's fun stuff. So go ahead and read research for free. It's all in the in the internet. Okay, you just take your time and effort. But it's great, fun stuff. So. Another concept, well, that's more advanced because it's linearly non-separable, but in a linearly separable set, the support vector machine's approach is not the same as neural network's approach, okay? Support vector machine's approach is more about uh, uh, linear programming. Of course, there's something called quadratic programming, which is kind of like generalization or extension of linear programming, I think. Linear programming deals with, uh, you know, one one dimension, first order equation of n dimensional vector, right? There's no like squared or cub cubic whatnot, but I think quadratic uh, programming involves higher dimension. I think it's just extension of uh, I mean, higher order of equation like x squared, x cubed, whatnot. I think that's what it's about. I don't know. I didn't major in mathematics, so okay. So, but linear programming, yeah, it's like this. Okay. You have what's called a set of constraints. Okay, constraints. So you have uh, x and y, right? And you have this. Let's say uh, uh, 
one one okay then you have this triangle okay so triangle this triangle can be defined as a set of three inequalities we call them constraints okay this is what y is equal to minus f plus one right okay and we want some something above that line so y is more than x plus, minus x plus one there's everything above this slanted line now this equation uh, this line horizontal line is uh, x is equal to one now we want something below this okay so we have one x we, you want x is less than one everything below this okay so this one and this one and so intersection of this three different sets okay now you have uh y y is less than one so th this line for this vertical line is y equal one okay zero one one okay so the intersection you know you have set theory right this is a this is b in a intersection b a intersection b is the uh, overlapping area okay same thing all right if it's uh, y is equal to minus x plus one is the all the dots points along this on 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 this line but if y is more than that, then it's all the points, set of points above this line. If y is less than minus x plus 1, it's everything below it. Okay. Now, if x is equal to 1, it's this line, horizontal line. And I'm sorry, I, I screwed up. I screwed up. This is y is equal to 1. This is x equal to one. Now, I just give you this. Y one. Y is less than one. X one. X is less than one. Okay. So, all right. Equality uh, is it's kind of like equation, but uh, you have to understand this. If a is more than b, right? But then a plus one, a plus a plus x is more than b plus x, so, or plus minus. Yeah, it preserves this inequality, the directional inequality. Okay, just like in the equality in the equation. But if a times my a times minus one it flips the sign okay b times minus one or minus k if k is positive number minus k is negative number if you multiply negative number it flips the direction okay but other than that uh so multiplication or division by uh okay so division uh yeah division you can say yeah 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 division does preserve division by positive number yeah it preserved the uh direction of this inequality okay it's just a multiplication or division by negative number that's what flips the sign okay okay so that's the algebra of inequality okay so equation defines a line in two two-dimensional space 
inequality defines a, a plane or region, okay? And set of inequality defines this uh, nice Euclidean um, polygon, okay? More than this line and less than this line and left of this line, yeah, it defines this triangle, okay? So this set of three inequalities, because it's like intersection, okay? So optimization problem in, in linear programming is like this. Oh, uh, this is a constraint. It's the limit. And we want to maximize this function, um, process, profit maximization. That's what industrial engineering is about. Okay, they want to maximize the profit for the company. So you, you have this constraints, this limitation like we have to operate this project under this budget. It's okay that you are under the budget. It's maximum money allowed, but you can never go above. So that's the constraint, that's the limit. Okay? And then we have this manpower, like 100 employees. We cannot hire anybody more anymore. Yeah, you can fire somebody. It could be 99 employees. Okay. Or 98 employees or one employee. That's okay. But you can never go beyond 100 employees. Those limitation, okay. And then you have this uh, another line. You know what? Uh, the quality, say, quality has to, be, has to be more than this. You can never go under that. Okay, you can enhance your quality all you want. Okay, but you can never go be below this quality. But you can be go all the way up the, in terms of quality. Okay, so those are your three rest restraints, your constraints, something that limits you. So you have to play inside of this triangle. Okay, so now you, you come up with some equation, profit equation that looks like this okay something like uh, ax something like y is equal to ax plus c whatever okay and oh, y equal something like a uh, y is equal to minus x over 2 plus k, okay? So let's say k stands for this max, the profit, profit. You have to maximize the profit, okay? Something like that, okay? Something like that. So, but you have to play along this line okay and i think a and b the coefficient for x and y kind of fixed so the line can be this this and this and you want to find the, you want to maximize this profit okay so it happened to be this the very edge point that's where the profit maximization occurs. Okay, so that's the concept of linear programming. Okay, so support vector machine approaches the problem of the boundary just like this. Okay, so um, yeah, just research, you know, uh, linear programming. Okay, if you you don't quite follow this. You're not going to follow this unless you learned it, all right? So, because I'm such a lousy mathematics teacher, okay? Because that, that's not what I do for a living, okay? I, I'm not a trained educator. So, but if you just Google or Bing, uh, you'll find some nice websites, YouTube videos, they can tell you educate you better than me.
I'm just giving you some ideas. Okay, so. Um, so, the uh, back to support vector machine. It's kind of time to take a break, but let's briefly just overview. You have all these bad guys here and good guys here, okay? And you want to find the very middle line that separates these two. Okay? What you want to do is you want to... It's, at first, it will be counterintuitive to you. You have to find a line. Maximize or minimize the distance between li this line and these dots. I told you, it gave you a hint. It can be counterintuitive at first. Is 50 50 yes or no answer so you have to find this line that perfectly divides these two sets does this line maximize or minimize the dis distance between this line and this dot Fifty-fifty. yes or no okay you got your answer what is your answer Minimize? No, it's maximize. Okay, I'm sorry. Because I have made, made the same error as you did. Because it's counterintuitive. You want to maximize the distance between this line and this dot. You have to... Distance between a line and a, and a, and a dot is uh, it, this vertical line, okay? You want... This line has to be as far away from this X as possible. This closest dots, they are called support vectors, okay? We have all these good guys. We don't care about these good guys far away. We only care about these closest good guys, okay? We want to maximize the distance between these two. Do you know what that means? Ironically, metaphysically, very ir ironic. Just like mathematically is counterintuitive, but metaphysically it's also ironic. This line, dividing line, needs to be as neutral as possible. Okay? As neutral as possible. How can div a dividing line be so neutral? But that's what this mathematics say. We call it support vector machine, but this is pure mathematics. Algebraic geometry. Geometric algebra. It's an optimization problem, okay? Maximize. The distance between this line and all these dots. Given. So you want to find uh, this line. Is equal to argument max distance uh, we'll just make a note and we'll I write it larger so that you can see it somewhere else distance between line between a line and this point okay It's a line such that the distance between this line and dots are maximized. That's what this R means. Okay. Given under the constraint such that uh, good guys are, all the good guys, the circles are above the line. And all the bad guys are below the line. Yeah, good guys are above the line and bad guys are uh, below the line. Okay, so this is kind of conceptual equation. It's not exactly mathematical equation, but uh, 
in humanology, we do a lot of that. We do conceptual equation, okay, ideological equation, okay. So, yeah, it's kind of that, okay. So it can be something refreshing and something new that you may like, or if you are old school, you may hate it just because it's new, okay. But I told you already. I love old stuff, but at, least at the same time, I love creating new stuff. That's why I'm telling you, I'm half liberal and half conservative. Conservative is all about old stuff. Liberal is all about new stuff, okay? I, am, I love old stuff, but at the same time, I love new stuff too, okay? But not everything that is old is good. Some old are good, some old are bad. Some new are good and some new are bad. There are good, bad, good, new. There are good new and there are bad new. And there are good old and bad old. Okay, just because it's something new, it doesn't mean it's always good or always bad. So that's the what liberals, that's the mistake of the liberals. They think everything new is good. Like tattoo, piercing, gay marriage, transgender. Marijuana is something new, so they think it's good. Okay, that's the mistake that liberals make. Now, conservatives, their mistake is everything old is good. Wrong. Okay, and everything new is bad. Again, wrong. Okay, then how how can you tell what is good and what what, what is bad? Well, we get to this after the break. Okay, because uh. It's been one hour, so it's time. I take break every 30 minutes, so.
Okay, nowadays in Alaska, it's really getting cold. I mean, it's still above zero, I mean, above freezing point, 32 Fahrenheit and zero Celsius. It's above freezing point, but still uh, it's getting chilly. Okay, so it's almost November, so it's, uh, well, whatever, right, so. Okay, so, yeah, just recap. Just to recap, um, this dividing line has to be as neutral as possible, as far away from either side. So we are talking about support vector machine, and look, look, we are already applying to humanology, right? If you want to be a good judge, you need to be as neutral as possible, as far away from either side. Like plaintiff, defendant, or uh, prosecution and the defendant, you know, the the uh, accused of some criminal act. In the civil, you have plaintiff and defendant. In criminal uh, law, uh, criminal trial, prosecutor, you know, the government and the uh, accused, defendant, okay? Judge has to be as neutral as possible, meaning they have to be as far away from either side to be the, this judging borderline who can tell good and the bad good from bad look at, look at us <laughs> talking about software vector machine artificial intelligence in computer science and mathematics and we already came up with this great analogy application in humanology human world yeah you see this is the power of humanology okay we are uh, very knowledgeable at least we are willing to be. We are willing to learn something new. We speak different languages, multiple. We speak the language of mathematics, computer science. And we speak the language of politics, religion, philosophy, okay? We're combining everything together, okay? So that's the power of humanology. So to be a humanologist, uh, you have to educate yourself. You know, very broadly, you need to know mathematics, physics, biology, okay, some philosophy, some politics, some religion, but you don't have to, like, pay to know those things. Just read, you know, read different things, okay? It's cheap. Nowadays, you have, you have Kindle and you have these online books, e-books. You know, you have Nuke from Barnes and Noble, and yeah, ebooks are cheap because just copy and paste, right? So, and it's cheap, it's like one dollar per book. Back in the days, it wasn't like that, right? You have paper bound, you have paper bag, and you have this leather bound or this hard, hard cover, or whatnot, right? I mean, I still have those books. I, I sometimes I prefer re reading those paper-bound books, but I cannot afford the newest edition at least. So yeah, I buy all the editions. But if it's a good knowledge, good knowledge never changes because they're like truth. Truth never changes. Okay, and yeah, you learn in YouTube. Google, Bing, websites, Wikipedia, it's all free, okay? So, uh, thanks to good advertisements, all these big companies, so don't hate big companies, don't hate rich people, because they are the one who's sponsoring all this free stuff, like YouTube, all these advertisers. Big companies, small businesses, local businesses, international businesses, okay? Yeah, they're all good people. We are benefiting from them, and... Also, we are they are consumers too. We buy their stuff. We are all in this together, okay? So, human knowledge is all about unification of the world. Okay, we want to unify. We want we want to be the center of force. This uh, center mass unifying everything and everyone. Okay, so we want to be at the very center of the universe, humanology. Okay, so that's what we are doing here.
Okay, so uh, so how 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 can you? Oh, because some of my friends say, uh, "Look at you, man! You you are a failure. You don't even have a girlfriend. Even you cannot even lead a girl. You cannot even get a date." No, no girls of right mind w would ever want to marry you because what are you, man? You're 40 years old, you're losing your hair, you're Asian, Alaskan loner who's crazy enough to run for presidency uh, in uh, 2020, like in two years. And what the hell are you doing? Some of my friends say that, okay, because I, and I appreciate, it. I enjoy it. This is challenging. It's spicy. I, I'm an Asian. I love spicy food, okay. So Western food uh, is rich in sugar and fat. Asian food, Eastern food, we are rich in uh, pepper, like you know, hot hot pepper, red hot pepper, and we also rich in salt. We make it salty. Okay, so, uh, so it's, it's, yeah, it can damage your stomach, you know, salty and hot food, but uh, it's not as bad as sugar and fat that makes you obese and cause all, all this overweight problem. Okay, so, yeah, I, I recommend you uh, use less sugar, less fat. Just spice it up with hot pepper or salt, or just spice it up with uh, all these herbs, natural herbs, just plants. Okay. Yeah, then you'll be healthy. Okay. Yes, yeah, so high sodium. Yeah, it's it's not good for the heart either. So and it's not good for the your stomach. So, yes, herbs, garlic powder and onion chopped onions and whatnot, okay? Just brush your teeth, okay? <laughs> brush your teeth and have some uh, mouthwash, then you'll be fine. That's what I do. Okay, so. Uh, let me pour myself some more drinks. Basically, so my friends say, uh, you don't have proper authority to tell people that what is right and what is wrong. Well, G people ask Jesus the same question. What authority do you have to say you are a sinner, you are a good person, I forgive your sin? You are, Jesus, Mr. Jesus, with all due respect. You are nothing but a carpenter's son. You're from what Bethlehem. You're Nazarene. You're nobody. You're not a government official. You're not a judge. You're not a Harvard graduate. Or you're not the president. You're not pope. You're not pastor. You're you're nothing. Me, I, I'm just a paper pusher. I I work in an office. Okay, making average American salary in Alaska. I'm an Asian, you know. So, look at you, man. You you think you can save the world? Because I'm very honest with my friends. I tell just things that I tell you here. Hey, man, look at you, man. You, you <laughs> yeah. You don't even have a girlfriend. Girls don't even want to date you. And now you're saying you can save the world? I recommend you to see somebody. <laughs> By a shrink. I, I watched this movie uh, called uh, Sin, The Sin City. You know, I think the director was something like Robert Rodriguez or something. I think he's an ultra interracialist because I think he's Hispanic. Judging from, telling from his name, but I think he married a very beautiful, slender, white girl, I think. So, I don't like him. But, yeah, the movie Sin City, yeah, I, I don't quite like it because in the beginning, this beautiful white girl, blonde girl, model type girl, 
this stupid guy killed her for no reason, for political assassination, you know, this paid sellout guy killing a beautiful girl for money. Oh, that's not acceptable. Even in the movie, even in a movie, that's not acceptable. And there's this Kill Bill movie by uh, Quentin Tarantino. Just fucking such such a long-winded name. Gonna oh, sound cool. There's this guy in in a uh, in jazz, like Michael Bublé or something. Fucking stupid shit. Fucking copycat of Frank Sinatra. You know, he wanna sound like French, so I'm Bublé. If you want to sound like French or Ita Italian or something, it's fucking shit. So I despise all these fucking Hollywood sellouts, okay? Maybe I'm jealous. Because I wanted to be famous in Hollywood, but I failed. Maybe I'm jealous of this successful Hollywood celebrities. Maybe I'm jealous of President Trump. Because I failed to be, well, I didn't fail yet. Because this 2020 presidential election is the very first, uh, my very first race, political bet I have ever done in my life. I've never been an official candidate for anything else. So maybe I'm jealous of President Trump, okay? But whatever. But so what what the hell are we talking about? By the way, this board is too close, it's bothering my eyes. It's making me dizzy. So I'm gonna So I, we are not gonna write anything, okay? So we don't need the board anymore. I mean for today. Okay, so I'm gonna push this away from my eyes. Oh guess what? There's this book fly. I killed it, okay? Oh bad fruit flies Whew. let's take a break okay so because i need some time to figure out what i was talking about <laughs> again this comedy okay don't take anything seriously and you can take a anything i say here as a joke as a fiction made up stories you can't even take me or my life as a joke I'm, I'm just a joke. I'm comedian, okay? Sit down, stand up comedy, whatever, okay? So. It's getting a little bit hot, so we will ventilate the air.
And uh, I got caught myself. I think Ra Robert Rodriguez, I think he's Hispanic, but I think he may have married a Hispanic girl. Then he's fine. I... Because I, I kind of like that guy because he made this movie since the... Yeah, the initial part is bad because he, he's just... It, it's a movie, but still he killed a beautiful, innocent girl. That's not acceptable, even in a movie, okay? So, but uh, the rest of the movie is fun. Okay, so... But I, I think he married a Hispanic girl, I think. Okay, so I, he may be all right. Quentin Tarantino, he, he made this Kill Bill movie and he killed this, in his movie, he killed this innocent Japanese girl, Japanese woman. That's not okay. You, I don't like it when an innocent person dies. Even in a movie, it could be an adult man, but if it's a child or woman, I don't approve that. Even in a movie or novel, that's just not okay. It's ugly. It's not beautiful. Oh, how about tragedy? No, no, it's not. It's just bullshit, okay? If it's tragedy, it can be about hero or grown-up man. Adult man, yeah, he can die tragically, just like Jesus. <laughs> in a movie, okay, that's fine. But you cannot kill children or w women even in a movie don't do that okay uh you, you can do it so it's just too ugly it has no value it's garbage okay so yeah um what the hell was i talking about before this yeah okay some of my friends say question me oh you don't have any authority to say what is good and what is bad because i say Obesity is bad, tattoos, piercings, gay marriage, they are all bad. But hey, who are you to talk about all this? Who are you to say, oh, what is good and what is bad? What is right and what is wrong? Because after all, you are just 40 year old, year old. You are losing your hair. You have bald spot. You are covering up with this hair blow and this freezing hair, hair spray and... You're single because no girls want to date you and you're nobody. You're just walking in an office pushing papers. You're not a pastor. You're not a teacher. You're not a professor. You don't have PhD. You don't have nothing. You're not a pope. You're not president. You're not an elected official. You, you don't have any authority. So nobody was going to listen to you. And they are right. Nobody is listening to me. And Jesus faced the same criticism. I'm not Jesus. I'm not son of God. I'm just like you. I'm just human being. But what Jesus said when people questioned his authority, he said, uh, me, Jesus, my authority comes from God. It does not come from people. That's what Jesus said. It's in the Bible. Look it up, okay? Me, my authority comes from knowledge okay I just know it better I know better than you in terms of what is right what is wrong okay because I dedicate my life to learn what is right and what is wrong you didn't okay you may may have majored in mathematics or French or whatnot and you have worked for your career to get money to get a spouse that's what you are focusing on, okay? How to make more money, better career, better girlfriend, your kids, your pets, your hobby, your airplane, yacht. That's what you focused on so far, right? My focus, my first priority is completion of knowledge. That has been the number one priority in my life. That's why I'm nowhere. And everywhere that's why my career isn't that good that's why I'm still single because that's not my priority that's why I'm just making every job my salary I'm not rich okay because those are not my career I mean not my priority money power fame sex they're not my priority my prior number one priority is complexion of perfection complexion improvement betterment of my knowledge and my character 
moral, moral ethical character. That's the four decades of my life. Okay, so there's nobody who's better than me at that. Okay, so all these people, they, oh, I'm PhD, yeah, but what, so what? You just learned, you did homework. You didn't, you're not an independent thinker. You just did homework. You just repeat like a parakeet, like a parrot, what other people already said. You're adding nothing new. Okay, oh, your all the fancy mathematical, the statistical knowledge. They're garbage. Okay, because you don't have the human independent spirit to make something new. To think outside the box. You have to follow the beaten path. You're not making any difference. Okay, just like Robert Frost, American poet Robert Frost said, you know, I went off the trail, I know, they made all the difference, right? That's what I do, okay? So, uh, of course, nobody appreciates what I do, but it's okay. I, I don't need appreciation. When I made my movie, I was satisfied at the result. I introduced this brand new technique of cut and paste editing, okay? Yeah, you can call it a shuffling, whatever. Food is shuffling, whatever. Yeah, it's cut and paste. And I was very satisfied, satisfied. Nobody appreciate. yeah. A handful of film fans, of, I submitted my movie to 50, 5 zero, 50 different film festivals and about Five of them accepted my movie. I'm eternally grateful. They accepted my movie and they showed my movie to the public. It's very small film festivals. Maybe 10, 20 people in attendance watching my movie. Okay. But I'm still eternally grateful. Okay. So I wrote th about three dozen, four dozen novels so far. Okay. A handful of people paid. To purchase my novel it's online novel it's like one dollar two dollar novel but still they purchased my, my to read my novel that i wrote i'm eternally grateful whether they liked it or not just the fact that they paid their dollar or two dollars to read my book I, it means the it, nothing means more than that to me or even people who prayed for me Christians who prayed for me. Nothing means more than that to me. It, it means the world to me, okay? The universe to me. So yeah, people who care about me, who care about my work, my grandchildren, my movie, my novels, or some uh, my academic articles that I published online, okay? Not, you know, some famous journals or law school journals or some scientific journals. No, it's just online for free. It's out there, okay? And some people downloaded my academic articles and I it means the world, a world to me, okay? Because I'm eternally grateful who took their own time. Yeah, it's free, but who took their time and the space in their computer, hard drive, to download my academic article that I wrote. I'm eternally grateful. Okay. Yeah, but it's okay that I die nameless because I did my best. Yeah, maybe maybe I failed to save the world. But you know, maybe in the future generation, maybe they read my books, watch my movie, read my articles, and watch this sit down comedy. Maybe they can save the world because don't you have anything better to do than saving the world? I do my best every day to save the world. I mean, beside the, my day job, my day job is just to pay the bills, okay? It's not my passion. I just do it to get by. It's fun. I like it, but it's not my eventual objective. 
my eventual objective is to save the world. As the president of the United States or as a celebrity, as some, somebody famous, somebody who can inspire, somebody who can reach out, somebody who can be heard, somebody with a voice and influence. Okay? That's my eventual goal of my mission, objective, to save the world, to at least to contribute uh, towards saving the world. Okay, so to do that, you have to say things that people don't like. Okay, that's how you exercise. When Jesus exercised, kicked some demon out of people, yeah, demon uh, caused some conversion and some, you know, just, eh, just perilous, paralysis, whatever. This, uh, what? Caesar, right? So, yeah, it... It's painful to the this mental patient or this demon possessed person because when the demon get out of that person, it always causes the pain because so you know I, I have many friends and some of my friends love psychology and they say oh there's this Sigma Freud or the super ego ego and Eve. So super ego is the goodness ego is in the middle and Eve is the temptation or so I don't remember correctly okay super ego ego Eve you know the good evil neutral I may be swapping the order a little bit because I don't care about psychology I don't care about Freud okay so so that's the psychology theory Sigmund Freud theory but humanology we have totally brand new framework Okay. So back to the question of what is good, what is bad, is logical analysis. Okay, so gayism is bad, hundred percent. There's no good in gayism. Yeah, feminism. Yeah, there's some good feminism, bad gay feminism. But gayism, pro gayism, there's no such thing as good gayism or good pro gayism. Okay, everything that is pro gayist or gayist is bad. Right? It's satanic. It's a pure evil. Tattoos, same. There's no such a thing as good tattoos. Even if you tattoo Jesus on your left chest, on your heart, it's still bad. Okay? There's not such a, no such a thing as a good tattoo. Tattoo is 100% bad. It is satanic. Okay? You need to save money to get rid of your tattoos. Okay? Save enough money so that you can get lazy, laser surgery to get rid of your tattoos. Right? Tattoos is, what? is satanic. Tattoo is satanic. It's 100% bad. There is no such a thing as a good tattoo. Okay? Piercing! One year, one year for female is good. Okay, it's traditional. It's, it's okay. You don't have to do it. But anything else, all the other piercings are 100% bad. It's evil. Alright? It's satanic. Transgender, LGBT, gayism, yeah, it's all same. 100% bad. Marijuana, yeah, medical marijuana is okay, but recreational marijuana, bad. Medical marijuana is okay, okay? It's all logic, okay? I told you so many times in the past, in this episode series, why gayism is bad, why marijuana is bad. I'm not going to repeat it, okay? So, um, just go, go back to my past episodes and learn, all right? And, um, uh, we can either take a break and continue or we can call it a day. For now, let's take a break, okay? Because I, I cannot decide that now. Um, okay? Yeah. I'll be back regardless. Um, I just don't know if we, whether we're going to continue or not, okay?
my trash and um, I'm gonna trash pick up that tomorrow morning and um, came up with some ideas. I mean, I can't remember what I was talking about. What is good? What is bad? Where's my authority coming from? So my authority com doesn't come from my position. I don't have any position. I'm an employee, office worker. Okay, I push paper. Okay, paper pusher. Okay, so back in the days when I was a computer programmer, yeah, I prided my I prided myself of being going paperless. Then I I was techy, just doing computer programming. And I see all these paper pushers, office workers, and you know what? I kind of want to do that. So that's the kind of job I got today, okay? The new job. I enjoy it. I make slightly more money than a computer programmer when I was ma making as a computer programmer. Still American every cellular level, just, you know. So, so I'm happy because it's something new and there's a full fly that I need to kill. I killed it. I killed it because I have this roll of uh, toilet paper. The fruit fly was sitting on the wall and I hit the wall with this roll of toilet paper. So it has this wide area, two dimensional surface. <sighs> Ah, oh, I need to take a breath. Killing a fruit fly is not easy. Oh, not at my age. I'm 40. It takes like one third of my entire energy to kill one tiny little fruit fly, man. Oh, I'm getting old, okay? That's why I'm running for president because I need to do this before I get even older, right? Okay, so my authority comes from uh, knowledge, okay, so accum that I accumulated for four, four decades, because that was my goal. Moral character, character development, okay, ethics, just to know what the truth is, what's the justice, what is right and what is wrong. I spent my lifetime, four decades, and I got it, okay, it's called human knowledge. Okay, so uh, it's, that's the dividing line of bad and good. Okay, we, we talked about this before. There's logical analysis and, uh, you know, marijuana. It scientifically proven it wipes out your short-term memory so you cannot learn anything new. So why do it? You need to learn something new, okay? You need to better yourself. I mean... Unless you need some strong painkiller, yeah, then if some other painkillers give you unacceptable side effect like constipation or whatever, then yeah, marijuana may be better option for you, for you, as your painkiller, okay. Okay, so um, so yeah, my authority co authority comes from. My knowledge, okay, the knowledge that I have, uh, it com doesn't come from position or money, power, fame, because I don't have any. I don't have money, I don't have power, I don't have any position, I don't have any fame, but I do have superior knowledge, okay, so that is my authority, okay, so Jesus said, uh, my authority comes from heaven and not from earth, not from people, yeah. I'm Jesusian. I'm I'm his follower. I'm his admirer, student. I never met him. Jesus never talks to me. God never talks to me. I'm not a prophet. I'm nobody. Okay. I'm just like you. But I uh, do believe. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. I I do not deny that possibility. I may be just wrong. Everything I say here is could be wrong. Everything. 
I do not deny that possibility, but I do believe they are right. Okay. We are all entitled to personal belief. Okay. And that's, that is what I that's that's why I'm here in America. Also in Alaska. To me, Alaska is the last America. Down in Hawaii or Law 48 or the other 49. I don't know what's going on. I haven't been there for a long time, so. But it's all about gay marriage, Donald Trump, all bullshit. Yeah, yeah, there's some bullshit in Alaska too. Okay. But in Alaska, at least we have some degree of freedom. It's like the last frontier state, the last uh, you know pioneer ship, because Alaska. We have a lot of lands, free land, I mean, empty lands, but we don't have that many people. So many Alaskans come from some other states because they wanted to run away. And I, I'm as a refuge, okay, like some kind of po political asylum or asylum from people. They, they are, they want to be left, be left alone, okay? So, I belong to that category, exact category. Uh, I came to Alaska thinking that, you know what, oh, so I graduated law school from mid Midwestern law school and somewhere in the Midwest, okay? I'm not going to tell you the name, okay? So, yeah, Midwest, uh, it was good, but uh, they just legalized gay marriage. I mean, Supreme Court decision which isn't exactly a law <laughs> Supreme Court decision they say oh it's the law of the land it's not the law of the land is the Constitution and the uh, uh, federal statute according to the Constitution okay so it's not Supreme Court decision the United States Constitution does not give Supreme US Supreme Court that kind of almighty dictatorial authority okay it's, it's justice john marshall it's all made up okay so that's the judicial review doctrine okay it's all bullshit okay supreme court does not have supreme authority in the interpretation of the constitution that's baloney it's a lie it's a usurpation of authority, it's dictatorship, it's tyranny, and Supreme Court is just one of three co-equal branches. It's not a Supreme Court. It's the entire judiciary is there's executive there's legislative and then there's executive and then there's judiciary. It's the third. It's the least important. Okay. Okay, so uh you know, executive branches like the president of the United States or the governors or the directors of all these governmental agencies, the commissioners, yeah, they're fairly powerful. Legislative branches like senators, congressmen, state representatives, state senators, yeah, they're fairly well known, but judges and justices. There's, they are the list of the three, okay? So they should never have the ultimate last words, the ultimate authority in the interpretation of the single most important document of the United States, okay? Constitution does not give that kind of authority to the Supreme Court. It does not, okay? Do you doubt? Then read the Constitution yourself, okay? Because nowhere in Constitution give the dictatorial power to the Supreme Court of the United States. That's Justice John Marshall, okay? He made it up, okay? So that judicial review doctrine is a 
is wrong. <laughs> to say the least, to say in a gentlest way, yeah, it's wrong. Okay, it's bullshit. So, yeah, my authority, yeah, it, it comes from uh, my knowledge, and which could be wrong. Okay, so it, I'm not saying, um, I'm not a prophet, I'm not song God, but I'm just like you. So, yeah, I, I don't have any authority, okay, but I only have opinions and theories, just like you do. Okay, so. It's up to you, it's up to evolution, it's up to God, it's up to the people whether they adopt this version of human knowledge or not. And I don't care. I'm doing this for fun. It gives me this relaxation, this outlet, this hobby. But, and as, as a service to humanity as well. You see all my right hand waving around. You never seen my left hand because I'm right-handed. Okay. Yeah, I, I broke my clavicle here, right clavicle. So I learned how to use my right, how to write and how to use chopsticks with my left hand. I can write pretty well with my left hand. I can use chopsticks pretty well with my left hand. Okay. But, but I'm right-handed. Okay. So. So. Yeah, my, I don't have any authority, it's all my theories, my feelings, my opinions, and... But I hope you are entertained though. I hope I'm entertaining you. I'm doing this for private enjoyment, enjoyment, joy, entertainment. That's why I'm doing this. Okay? And I hope I'm entertaining you. Okay? Because after all, I dropped out of this prestigious... I mean, kind of lower, lower Ivy League school, PhD program, but I did a uh, double fellowship. Not double the money, but double the title. Okay. In a, yeah, in computational biology. Okay. So I can tell you that much about myself. And then um, I dropped out after two years. So. It's kind of, I, I didn't get the master's degree, but it's equivalent to the master's degree level of education in science. Because I studied very hard when, when I was there. But I decided to drop out to be the shining star in the morning of hollow sky. That's what I told my friends. Okay, so... Yeah, to... Be an entertainer to be an actor okay so i'm doing the same thing here I'm, i just want to entertain you that's all okay all this garbage is politics religions who gives a fuck okay i just want to make you laugh that that's why i'm here right so I, I, at the same time i, I want to make you a better person i want you to somehow be convinced that sugar and fat are worse than tobacco and alcohol. During my break, yeah, I smoke cigarettes. Okay. And while I'm here, and I'm drinking vodka. All these Alaskan wild plants like chaga mushroom or Alaska blueberries or Alaska rose hips. Such a sexy name. You have rows, you know, like romantic, and then you have hips. <laughs> and it's delicious. And you have Alaska cranberries. Okay. Yeah, I'm drinking, and but I'm relatively in shape. I mean, I'm not too muscular, but I do weight, weight lifting because I have just dumbbells and whatnot. I do my weight training with my body weight, you know, like pull-ups, upside down, pu this shoulder push-ups, like upside down, laying on the tree in a park or on the wall in my house and or push-ups, sit-ups and 
leg lifting and all the stretching, martial arts, dancing, running. Yeah, I do what I can to uh, exercise. Okay, and I want you to do the same. Because if you are obese, your body is inefficient. You are so heavy, your bones start aching, your joints start aching when you are old, when you get old. Okay, it gets only worse. Okay, because you are addicted to sugar and fat. Okay, you should do exercise, regular exercise and a healthy diet. I'm telling you on your behalf. Okay, everybody knows about it. But unless enough people talk about it, it will never be a mainstream thing. Okay, it's like pressure. It's like uh, in physics. Okay, we did supper by too much, okay, so. Let's turn our attention to physics, okay? So it's been two hours, so we're, we're gonna take a break very soon, but maybe we'll continue and do our full three hours today, okay? Because who knows, I may die tomorrow, okay? Look at these people, like, I said, oh, I'm running for Donald J. Trump. You know, conservative social gathering and they trash my business card that I made and I gave it to them, they trash it and they step on it. In a uh, more liberal democratic social gathering, I gave them my business card. He, you know what, I, I uh, oppose gay marriage, I oppose tattoos, I oppose piercings, I oppose marijuana and they trash my business card that I made and I gave it to them. They trash it and step on it. Okay, so what's next? If I do become famous, they may try to kill me. Okay, if it's just one or two people, yeah, I can handle them. If it's 10 people, maybe I can handle them. But if it's like hundreds and thousands of people, hundreds of people, thousands of people who try to kill me, I need to get out of this country. I'm not going to sit there and die just like Jesus did. No, I'm not Jesus. Yeah, Jesus, Jesus' death has the potential of saving the entire world. Okay, that's what I'm trying now. All I'm... Substantial portion of what human knowledge is about is to justify the Bible and what Jesus said. Okay, so we are trying to resurrect Jesus okay so I do believe Jesus' death can save the world that's what I'm trying to do I'm not Jesus Jesus died like 2,000 years ago and he resurrected and I believe that okay but his teaching his ethical lesson I do believe it can save the world that's what I'm trying to do here okay to make use of take advantage of what Jesus did. Okay, I'm trying to resurrect him. Alright. But me dying is not going to do anything. Because I'm not son of God. I'm not Jesus. Okay, so it's, uh, my death, my life will be just forgotten. So I will do my best to survive. If hundreds of Americans and thousands of Americans or any, any people in the world try to kill me, I have to run away. I'm not God. I don't have miraculous power. I cannot face them all. If it's one person, two people, a dozen, yeah, just like in the martial art movie, like Jet Li, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, fighting these tens of people, maybe I can pull that off. But if it's hundreds, thousands, I have to run away. I have to disappear. I may have to go to China, which I have no objection to, but Chinese there are so many beautiful Chinese girls. There are so many beautiful Japanese girls, Korean girls. I would love to go there. If hundreds or thousands of Americans try to kill me. Or if President Trump get reelected and decide to change the law, change the constitution, or constitution interpretation, if you are born in America but your parents are not American citizens, then you are not American citizens. Even if 
you have birth certificate, if you have your social security card, even if you have a uh, United States passport, sorry, you are no longer American. Yeah, President Trump and his followers are willing to do that, many of them. Okay? If they do that, they change the law, then uh, I'm out of here. Okay, because that's no longer America. That I once loved. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. I will not protest. I will comply and I get the fuck out of this fucking stupid fucking country. Because America is no longer America. It's the Trump nation. It's the racist nation. It's the uh, xenophobic nation and unconstitutional nation. Discriminating against race and national origin. I don't want to be here. All right, so there is only one person who can stop all that, put a stop on all that, who can prevent that, and that is me. Yours truly. I'm right in front of you, okay? And I'm an official uh, candidate for president in 2020. So you better vote for me, okay? F just find out my name, learn how to spell my name, and write my my name over all the stupid names like ted cruz donald fucking j trump or marco rubio or bernie sanders hillary clinton or wh whoever stupid shit name is okay write my name over their names okay it's time to get back okay so, all right you know I, i'm gonna finish it here okay okay Good night. Thank you. I love you. Bye.